It is Sam Russell, ladies and gentlemen. Sam Russell. Start the clock. It's the same bloke who's lost weight. <laughs> that, yeah, Dave is the ghost of my future yet to come, which is fucking terrifying. <laughs> How are we doing, paralegals? We good? You guys have to work with lawyers all day? I fucking married one, um, which is terrifying. Three things I've learned about living with a lawyer. Uh, number one, I will never win an argument ever again. Uh, number two, cock jokes are not acceptable at the firm's Christmas party. Um, uh, <laughs> um, and number three, no matter how funny I still think it is, I am no longer allowed to shout guilty on the point of ejaculation. Those are, those are the rules. Those are the rules. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Applause break one. No. <laughs> Slightly smart. Also, also not allowed to ask if she'd like to see Exhibit D. Um, <laughs> apparently that ruined the wedding night. <laughs> we got one American. Abby, American? Oh, that, hi, sir. sorry about that. I love America. I'm half American myself. I <laughs> my, uh, which half? My dad. My dad. Yeah, yeah. He loves guns. Good big gun fan. Um, no, I love going to America. I went there for my honeymoon. America is the only place in the world uh, where I get to feel thin. Um, <laughs> or educated. Um, <laughs> nice for me to go there. We have a very modern relationship. Uh, me and my wife. My wife makes way more money than I do. She goes out to work every morning. I'm at home. I do most of the cooking, the cleaning. Uh, we're so progressive now. On special occasions, I let her fuck me up the ass. That's <laughs> so that we got to. It's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, <laughs> they liked it, mate. Okay, yeah. Okay, I think we can share now. I, I was so proud of myself when I wrote that joke. Uh, I texted it to my mother, father, and sister. Um, we're a very close family. <laughs> they all texted back. My mum texted back first, saying, "Sam, I don't think you should tell that joke. It's quite old-fashioned." <laughs> I don't know what mum's into. Um, I'm not gonna ask, I'm not gonna ask. It would ruin Christmas. Um, my sister texted back next saying, Sam, I think I'm too young to understand why this is funny. She's 12. Um, my dad, my dad won the text back Olympics. He simply sent me, that'll do pig, that'll do. We got any students in tonight? Hey, that's a lot of energy for people about to be 30 grand in debt, Jesus. I did drama and theatre studies. I, th th this what happens when you do that degree. I can't afford a top button for my jeans. That is the level, that is the level we live in. These cost eight quid from Tesco's. I cannot afford to replace them. Um, the only job I was qualified for is I had to work in a very big toy store in central London that my wife says I can't name for legal reasons. Uh, we'll call it Schmamley's. Um, <laughs> anyone ever been to Schmamley's before? Anyone been there around Christmas time? What's it like? Hell, awful, terrible. It's a lot worse when you're dressed like a fucking elf. <laughs> I got a lot of free time now. I've got my new favorite hobby. My family is a thing. If anyone's annoying us, we just tease them until they leave us alone. And my new favorite hobby is pissing off charity workers. Um, it's when they call you up asking for those regular monthly donations. Again, no top button. I cannot save the children. Uh, so instead of getting sad about these, I invented games to make these calls the highlight of my day. Uh, the first one is called the Juan method. It's very simple. Throughout the entirety of the call, the only things you're allowed to say are se, no, and Juan. And when I see that number flashing up, I just I get into character. <laughs> hola, hola. Uh, hello there, my name is Susan. I'm calling on behalf of the British Art Foundation. Say. <laughs> Sorry, is that Mr. Russell speaking? No. <laughs> Who can I say speaking, please? Juan. <laughs> Sorry, Juan, am I pronouncing that correctly? No. <laughs> no. Well, sir, as I said, I'm calling on behalf of the British Heart Foundation. Have you ever heard of us before, sir? <laughs> Say. Oh, so, well, that's fantastic. Well, we're calling up just asking if anyone would like to become a new regular donator for 2017. Is that something you've ever thought about doing before, sir? <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, sir, you sound like such a generous man. No, 
than that? Well, so what would you feel comfortable donating a month? Anything would be fantastic. What would you feel comfortable donating? Juan? <laughs> there he is, Sam Russell, finalist number one. Wow. Yeah. Fine. Don't go now. The comedy's finally arrived. <laughs>